Let's look at a fantastic feature in Excel that will allow us to extract data from pictures. Someone sends you data in the form of a picture, like this parts list. When we open it up, we can see all the information in the picture, but we need this data in an Excel spreadsheet so we can do things like sorting and filtering. But how do I get this information into Excel without having to retype all of this? To do this, let's go to Excel. We've got a blank worksheet, and we'll go up to Data, and then in the Get and Transform Data section, there's a button that says From Picture. And when you give that a click, we'll say Picture from File. We browse out to the location with the picture, select it, and click Insert. This will scan the image for anything that looks like recognizable data. Now keep in mind the accuracy of this interpretation will be based on the font style you use, the legibility of the text, the size of the text, you know, clearly handwritten text is going to be more problematic than printed text. Before just plugging the data straight into Excel, certain parts of the data may be flagged for you to check for accuracy. These are areas where the system has low confidence in its interpretation. If we were to select one of these shaded areas, it will zoom in on the part of the picture that was used to create this and then give you the opportunity to fix this if there are any inaccuracies. If the data is correct, you can click Accept and then move on to the next flagged area. Now you don't actually have to click every single low confidence area. If you can see directly in the preview that the information is correct, you can just skip over it. It's so like in this case, it had interpreted the ones and zeros as O's and I's. So you could come in here and then put in the information that it was supposed to have and then hit accept and that will update the interpretation. Looking through the rest of the data, I can see here on this one, it interpreted K's as an I and a less than symbol. So I'll replace those with a K. Hit accept. The rest of it looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and click insert data. For a hundred different reasons, the interpretation of this data may not be 100% correct. It is ultimately up to you to verify the information that's being brought into Excel. I'll click insert anyway, and here we have the information in Excel. Another way to pull information from a picture when you don't have it in a file format is to screen capture it. So here I've got a PDF called price list. And when I open price list, I can see the information in a PDF, but this is not in a form of a picture. So I can't just point to it and bring it in using the windows screen capture utility. I can highlight the range of data that I want to bring in. This will place the data in the Windows clipboard. I don't have to save this clipped information to a file because one of the features from data from picture, going back to Excel, is I can say from picture and then picture from clipboard. So whatever you've screen captured is automatically ready to be plugged in. This will perform the analysis. We'll go through the same review process, see if there's anything that needs to be corrected. Here are my ones and zeros that were treated as O's and I's. I'll accept that. There are my K's that were interpreted as I's and less than symbols. So I'll replace those. The rest of it's good, so I'll go ahead and click insert data, insert it without the final review, and there I have my information. Remember to do a full review of the information for any inaccuracies. This is not considered a foolproof system. Thanks for watching, and remember, at BCTI, the learning never stops.